Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Dan. All right, in, in, in this video, I'm gonna be harvesting some shampoo ginger, you know. This shampoo ginger I got from Gigi Naturals and also a friend in Puerto Rico, you know. So, you know, I planted shampoo ginger in containers and I planted some in uh, the front of the yard, you know. It was an experiment just to see, you know, the front of the yard at full sun, the containers is where I plant all my turmeric and ginger. You know, the shampoo ginger that I planted in the container grew to about like seven feet. The shampoo ginger that I planted in the front of the yard, which is getting full sun, got maybe about like three, three yards, about like four inches, you know, like real short and it just stood there, you know, you know, because it was in direct, direct sun. So what I find out about, you know, plant growing shampoo ginger is like, you know, understory, shaded area of the garden, you know, and you're gonna get beautiful lush plant. And actually the ones I planted in container was just there, no care, no nothing. The only water it got was from the rain. While the, the, the one in the, the front of the yard got water from the sprinkler and everything, it just, it didn't grow. Guys who don't know what shampoo ginger is, shampoo ginger is a plant where they use the rhizomes to make soap. They use the, the leaves can use as an antifungal, antimicrobial, you know, product. You can make a product out of that, you know, and the 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 flowers itself is actually used to make sh shampoo and conditioner. So I'm growing it, you know, to make my own shampoo, to have my own natural shampoo. Cause you know, a lot of stuff we get to this packed with some ke chemicals that we don't know the long term. You know, I'm gonna be dividing up the shampoo ginger that i grew in the container all around the food forest but mainly on the shaded area of the, the food forest you know because i just want it to be a lush green area let's go harvest some shampoo ginger all right let's go this is the, the you know this is the container i was growing the shampoo and ginger in so let me just bring it over here in the shade yeah so we're gonna harvest so you know it, it die back so that's one of the good thing you know once i plant it in the food forest once it die back you know i'm just gonna leave it here and it's gonna just continue growing over and over and over through the years yep and as i tell you i need to start harvesting a lot of these rhizome crops that i have around around the food forest because you know i need to replant for spring yep and multiply you know i keep multiplying this stuff around the food forest all right guys so let's see you know we should have a good amount of rhizomes in and this keep my labels let's see this die back yeah yeah i think i think this container gonna have to divide this up a lot All right, let's see what we got here Uh, this stuff really spreads out a lot in a container wow that's good that's good 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 you see look, looks looks just like the regular ginger but this ginger the shampoo ginger has a more bitter taste yeah so i'm gonna just be using mainly the leaves and the flowers so i'm just gonna divide this all over the food forest let's see um, it's so compact in this container like real compact okay. we're getting some we're getting it out right now wow i have a lot to plant yes nice Wow, this is some big clump of ginger. Okay, guys, so look, these are all, all what we got, you know? And I think everything came from this small piece. This is a lot of stuff to replant. So I'm gonna do a little survey, you know, in the food forest and see 
where I'm gonna divide this up completely. All this stuff divided up. Let's plant different areas. Look at, look at it as uh, its color. Yeah. Divide this all up. And maybe I'm gonna do some research in the future to find out how can I make soap with the with the the ginger rhizone, the shampoo ginger rhizones. That's next year project. Yeah, but definitely gonna do some research on that. Yep, so let's survey where we're gonna plant this in the food forest. So, you know, all my ginger grow well around here. Yeah, this is the, you know, at the side part of my home. Shade most of the day. All the rhizome plant, ginger, turmeric, all of them grow extremely great on this area. So I'm thinking if I'm gonna plant in ground, I probably could plant, stop, I'm gonna plant some along the fence here and just go right through, right down over there. Yep, so let's see. Yeah, I could plant some behind here because this is all nice shaded area. So it will come up and have beautiful blooms. Yep. Yeah, I could plant one back over in that corner. And just right through. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I have a few places that I'm gonna actually plant some. Alright, so let's 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 get let's start planting some. Yes, yeah, so I picked these three peats from that pack and plant the others in the food forest. So see that this look like it's ready to go right here. Look like it's about to start pushing, right to push out some new stuff. Same thing here. So these three pieces. I'm gonna go over here and drop them. Then we're gonna put one right there, one right here, and one right here. The turmeric you plant about what? Three inches deep? Yeah, three, four inches deep. Yeah, you should be good. Alright, so let's, let's do that right here. Alrighty. is here. Alright, let's see. Should be good. Alright, that's it. In the next four months, beautiful greenery, yeah, and blooms, which I'm gonna carry you guys along and show you, show you, uh, this, this, all right. So we harvested some shampoo ginger, you know, and then we, you saw we replanted. One of the easiest plants to grow, as I tell you, is just partial shade to shade, and you're gonna get beautiful shampoo ginger, any of those rhizome plants, any of those gingers, you know, will grow extremely well on the understory or, you know, just partial shade. For some reason, the direct sun, Florida direct sun at least, is not the ideal to grow the ginger. It need, it need heat, but it don't need that direct sun. Yeah, and as I mentioned before, the shampoo ginger is not just, not just a beautiful corn flower. You know, you can use the flowers to make your own shampoo. What better stuff than that that you get in your natural? You know, all the shampoos nowadays have a ton of chemicals and stuff. We don't know the long-term effect of those stuff, you know. But just to know you could get your natural shampoo from the garden. Why not grow the plant? And, you know, it's a it, beautiful green with beautiful flowers. And as they, you know, mentioned, the leaves can be used as antifungal, antimicrobial, 
you know products and you can also use the roots to actually you know make soaps as well all right you know people do cook the roots they said the roots do have a more bitter state so i guess depending on the meal you're going to use it in probably complement certain meals better than the the, the the other ginger thank you so much for watching i'll be blessed with peace love happiness kindness one love see you in the next video